I'm absolutely passionate about guitars. Um, I'm also a musician and, and a designer. And um, I just one day decided that I want to build my own guitar um, according to my own needs. Um, and that's how I set up on this journey. The guitar I decided to, to design was, was based on a, on a Telecaster model. Um, the reason being is it's a, a minimalist type of guitar. The program that I used to design the guitar was Fusion 360 from Autodesk. So it's, it's the, the feel of the Telecaster with um, the fatness of Les Paul and the comfort of the, the Stratocaster. I eventually went to CPS, um, they were willing to, to assess the design. Uh, we sat down and um, they said, okay, now they're willing to do a small batch, they're willing to experiment as well. And um, that's the reason why I chose to go with them and they were as excited about the project as I am. So here at CPS we specialize in milling, turning, uh, welding of stainless steel aluminium. And when we got this project for the guitar, of Adrian, we went like, yeah, this is a great opportunity for us to prove ourselves. It all started with a design through Adrian, our client, who brought us the guitar. And then as soon as we got everything sorted and all the sizes sorted out, we basically bring it into our program, Gibbs Camp, that brings in the whole model. And from there, we do the program where you bring in your first tools and you get obviously your outlines and where you have to surface and your different types of patterns. With the neck, um, which, which CNC actually made a lot easier, is on the back of the neck I have um, a, a convex contour basically, starting from, from one radius and ending at a, at a smaller radius. So with the CNC it was a lot easier to get that, that contour going than setting up tooling and doing it by hand. So what we do is we take our 6mm or 10mm cutter, we cut small steps in the material about 0.5 away from our size that we want and from there we take a ball nose that's quite round, it has a radius, it doesn't have a sharp point or sharp edges, it has a radius. So then we start out surfacing out the whole area, so especially when it's a round area where you can't get it out with a normal end mill or a normal cutter. There was a 0.5 tolerance in there. From the 0.5 tolerance we make it zero and then from there we get our finish that we wanted. So it's basically pre-roughing first and then second time it's basically surfacing the whole neck out. So it's like a nice round contour and with a nice finish. So the client brought us uh, a block of wood about 50 to 60 millimeters thick and he wanted the, the whole body of the guitar cut out of this one piece of solid wood. Yeah, so with the body, um, it was the, the basic Telecaster shape, but the, the nice thing with using the CNC, which is quite a lot easier, was doing this belly contour. Uh, it was actually, um, I could achieve a, a belly contour and the, the wall here being five millimeters, whereas um, if I had to do it by hand, I had the choice of either going through a lot of trouble achieving that or making it solid and um, adding to the weight of the, the, the guitar. But um, because of, of the CNC, I was able to remove most of the stock. For the second side, we had to cut a fixture, just basically the outline of the guitar to keep it nice and steady inside the pocket so we, it doesn't move around. Thank you. 
On the cover that we that we cut, uh, we brought in the model that our client gave us, and it was a six millimeter piece of maple wood. We faced it down to 5.5, so it makes sure it's nice and flat. Then we turn it around to make sure your, your flattest area is on the machine, and then we face it again to five millimeters to, for the requirements that the client wanted the specs to be. And from there, we did the whole program for the small little pockets for and for the cutting out of the, the whole project. and make sure there's no burrs on there. So meaning we took a small little chamfer tool that cuts a little chamfer on, on the edges. So there's no sharp edges or burrs sticking out. The idea with the fretboard was also uh, a compound radius, um, starting at a wider radius here and ending at a smaller radius there. It's for, for um, the playability part, uh, where it's for, for a musician, it's easier to do the cording at the top and uh, lead playing at the bottom with a flatter radius. So why I think this guitar project is still handmade is because the only thing that really changed is the tools. And in this case we use a CNC machine from am.co.za because this machine gives us the consistent precision that we are looking for. Also drew from some of the, the other guitars like the uh, Stratocaster which has a, um, a belly cut for, for comfort. So I added that to the design and a bit of um, more modern twists with uh, some axis for, for hand. So there's a lot more other contours as well. And then I also drew from a Les Paul shape pickup switch um, position as well as the, the type of pickups. Um, so it's, it's the, the feel of the Telecaster with um, the flatness of the Les Paul and the comfort of the, the Stratocaster. So the manufacturing part has been done. I'm very happy with the, the parts. Um, I'm a lot closer to achieving my, my goal of building a dream guitar. Um, and it's now down to assembling and finishing. <laughs>